Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to configure RAID 1 on Rocky Linux 8.6. RAID 1 is composed of an exact copy or mirror of a set of data on two or more disks. A classic RAID 1 mirror pair has two disks. When you are using RAID 1 volume, information is written to a first drive and to a second drive or mirror drive simultaneously. It is not necessary to remove any information from the remaining hard drive if one of the drives in the Mirror volume fails. First, I am going to check the installation of OS using cat command. This is Rocky Linux 8.6. Now, I am going to install RAID management tool which is named by multiple disk and device management. M install MDADM. Press Y and hit enter to continue. Again press Y and hit enter to continue. Now check the disk is available to configure RAID by using lsblk command. This is the two disk which we are going to configure RAID. Now enter F disk. Mention the disk which we are going to configure SDB. Hit enter. For the new partition, press N. Uh, by default, e press Enter. Again, Enter. Enter. Now I'm going to make this all space for single partition so that hit Enter. Now press T to select partition. Now list so that press L. Here, FD. This is the Linux. This is the Linux auto write configuration. Here, mention FD. Hit enter. Now press P to make partition. The partition is successfully completed. Now save and quit. So that press W. Now we need to make partition for another disk. So that F disk slash dev SDC. Hit enter. For new partition press N. Hit enter. 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 Again, I am going to give this whole disk for single partition. Hit enter. Now select the hexa code so that press T. List. Press L. Now select the disk which we need to configure. In this case, I am going to configure Linux auto write so that mention here FD. Enter. To save the partition, press P. Hit enter. The partition is successfully completed. Now we need to save this so that press W. Hit enter. Partition is successfully completed. Next, we need to check the block device for previously any configuration has been made in the disk. So that we need to run the command md md adm iphone e slash dev sd b iphone c. We need to check the two disk. There is no super box directed on the device. Now, now we are going to create the MD device and select the right levels. MD ADM. Iphone Iphone create. Mention the disk. Give the name for the disk. Slash dev. MD1. Iphone Iphone level. We are going to configure RAID 1 so that here mention 1 hyphen hyphen RAID hyphen devices 2 device we are given mention the device which we are given there dev yes b b hyphen c hit enter now hit enter 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 here we need to give y and hit enter the md1 is started now we are going to verify the status of right level md adm iphone e mention the device name here you can see 
we are configure write level 1 to verify the md device status run the following command md adm hyphen details mention the device name md1 here see we can configure the device this is the device 0 then this is the device 1 now we can now we are going to apply the file system for the device so follow the command mkfs mention the file system ext4 mention the device the file system has been applied now we need to permanently mount the md device by running the blk id now we need to mount permanently the device so that first we know the blk id so that run the command blk id this is the uid by this we are going to mount this permanently so that we need to make the directory i am going to create the directory by the name of ride one under the slash mnt under slash mnt write one now select the uuid copy now open the permanent mounting location go to the last line insert the uuid then press tab now give the location where we need to mount mnt ride 1 here i am going to mount the disk then mention the file system ext4 then mention defaults tab 0 again 0 now save and quit The device is successfully mounted. To verify this, we need to run the mount command. Here you can see under the slash mnt ride 1, the device is successfully mounted. Now we need to check this by running df h. Here we can see. Also, we can see by using lsble command. Here you can see SDB and SDC also mounted in under the slash MNT ride 1. By this, the configuring ride 1 on Rocky Linux 8.6 is completed. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. And if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.